Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Grand Admiral with Scaling Difficulty 25 times Crisis Strength Syncretic Evolution. I'm your host, Colors Fate. It's episode 31 and we're moving everybody over here to take on the last contingency planet. Um, this is the last sterilization hub. Then we gotta finish off a few more planets and a few more ships, but otherwise we're doing alright. Because the bulk of them have moved down to this area. And we will come down there and, and clean that up. But this, for now, is the is the big deal. Gotta get these guys in here. System survey complete. Who died? Leader Admiral died when the IIS Excalibur bit the dust. Okay. Go take it out. Sterilization hub. This is the last one. And then we should be able to do things a little bit better. Got all these extra ships here. I'm gonna merge them all in the fleet. Research complete. Bunch of battleships you guys can merge. You guys, and that's the ding letting us know that there's rising unemployment. We took the dialogue box off because it's just, it's annoying. It's all get out. Oh, and then while we're here, let's peel off one big fleet. And all these smaller fleets. And uh, let's go get these other planets too while we're here. You guys have been doing good. I got 370 influence. So I'm going to keep building some stuff here. If the game will let me. Trying to acquire some of the space here. Trying to get it. And then we can worry about more simple things in life like freedom. This is a Titan, right? Oh no, it's just a bunch of cruisers. You guys and you guys and you guys and you guys can all join. I'll make a fleet out of you. System survey complete. Okay. Jump drive over to here, will you, please? And I need like one more. One more group here, you guys head over there. Can you guys please? I commanded you. Just go over there. Go. Go and do it. I don't know why we don't have this system. We got this planet. Well, yeah, and then they took off. I just still don't understand that, but we'll figure it out hopefully. There. Are what do you mean there's no armies in order? Anomaly found. Enemy planet secured. Okay, enemy planet secured. Still doesn't give us what? The system? Why doesn't it give us the system? I don't understand what's going on with those. We should be getting those systems. 
Construction complete. Research complete. I'm not quite understanding what's going on there. It's not standard operating procedure. What's going on here? There's, yeah. So there's a planet here, Timinth, which we occupied, and I don't understand. It's a normal habitat, big deal. Nobody cares about that. Planetary invasion begun. Okay, we got those planets, but it's so odd. Normally you get the system. We've got the system, military power, who got this? It's Oh, Beldross Syndicate. Is that why we don't have them? Oh, because this was Beldross Space. But the Beldross haven't showed up to do anything about it, I guess. I don't know. Research complete. Maybe they get it. Maybe it reverts to them when... I get it. So maybe it reverts to them when we finally conquer the, the big dummies. Okay, well, in, in that case... I've gone and I've, I've helped you out, Beldross, despite my not wanting to. What I'm going to do is move you guys down here. There's a planet here. You could colonize that. A couple of planets here. Oh no, what are they? Oh. They, are, they are planets. We'll do that just for to help. Maybe maybe it'll help with <laughs> our what's going on. Well, these guys are pounding. Let's go back up to our ring worlds and see what we can build. These guys are like, hey, we're running out of housing. Everything else about that planet looks pretty good. What are we doing for secondary resources? We're getting low on gases, and it costs gases to make those regular segments, so. Let's do their building stuff. These guys aren't building anything yet. Whole theaters, that, that, build this. Have five. Says, hey, I have crime. Because that's what happens here. <laughs> so, the Beldross. I'll tell you, I'm never going to look at a criminal syndicate diff the same way again. I'm, I'm going to make them a top priority wherever and whatever game I am playing from now. And I'm going to try to make them a top priority to turn them into mush. Because they have been... A thorn in my side from day one. They were horrible. Research complete. They just create so much crime all on their own. It's amazing. It's staggering to me how much crime that they're able to create. It's like wow. I need to go start making some new ring worlds. So, because we have like this, all of these are System survey complete. done, just being worked on, you can see, being worked on, you can build some stuff here. Ring D, just building some stuff. So that's that whole ring set. World is set and over here partial Dyson sphere. We still haven't finished that thing. Are you kidding? God, it's got so many segments. Matter decompressor got finished a long time ago. So give me one of these people down here. One of these construction ships. Let's say go right here and build a ring. Research complete. Okay. Leader lifespan. Our leaders are amazingly long lived. Let's see what's going on up here. 
How are we doing? It's 48%. It's just about done. Oh my gosh. I almost want to watch that. 48%. Mm. What's this thing up here? Fleet order canceled. Unable to build a mining station. Okay, that's fine. I don't care anymore. This is the most important Research thing. Complete. It's the most important thing. Look at this. Get him. Oh. Sterilization to the heart of the contingency. With the destruction of all four machine worlds, scientists have managed to deduce the origin point of the ghost signal. It's coming from CX-9881, a previously uncharted star system on the galactic periphery. This has to be where all the synthetics that fell into the sway of the signal journeyed. The contingency will remain a threat until that final system has been dealt with. Situation log updated. Right there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I know what I want to do. Let's go put an end to these mothers. So I don't think the 25th fleet is the 25th fleet set up. No, it's not. It just says this is what I've got. Okay. So let's add some things. Let's give you a bunch of these. One more of those and a bunch of these. And we'll make you a real boy. That's awesome. Okay, let's go. Let's go put an end to those colonization in progress. Bastards. What about up here? What do you got you doing? You're like, hey, I'm over here by myself and I was helping you clean up. Yes, I know. I'm going to help you. I'm not worried about these fleets right here. You guys can be put you guys can be put down after we go deal with the, the contingency up here. The contingency. So well, you guys are moving. And a grooving. Oh yeah. Um, I don't really need any more military strength. Research complete. What I'm gonna need what I'm going to need is bureaucracy, because if I intend on playing this to the end, which I still haven't made up my mind yet, but if I intend on playing it until I pop the victory screen and conquering the Valdari Peacekeepers, then we're going to need a lot more bureaucracy. So, What is this? Auto Forge. Okay. Alright, I can... I can survive with that. This is dumb. Place that with the city district boys. What are these? Auto forges? What is this? Affluence center. Auto forge. Repair. Sure. Affluence center. You can replace that. Replace. Let's see. This is done. Research complete. I don't want to demolish it. I want to take this mining and I want to replace it with food. Because this whole planet should have just focused on food. Ambition. Came off. Okay, let's go fix them. Ambition. Oh, and what else came off? Mineral one, but it's back on now. Okay. End of the month, and it's back to 1k. That's how much that edict made a difference when you're that big. That's just huge. Huge. Okay. Lots of stuff going on here. So many unemployed. We built so much growth that it was just, it was so much 
that there was just no way for greater than ourselves to ever really help fix us. Because it was too much. It was too much. Let's see what he could use. Well, research complete. Oh, wait a minute. Can you guys? What? What am I missing here? Do, that. Do it. Research complete. This is amazing. Leader lifespan. Nine months. It's just the, the research. Sixty-six k. I don't know. That I, I'm. No, I know I've never had that much research before. I don't. I don't know how. <laughs> it's, it's just kind of amazing. Research complete. Lots of stuff going on. I am back. It's a no delay for you, but it was a kind of substantial one for me. Had to, had to mess with my stove there. I'm making baked potatoes. Unfortunately, I have a new stove that has a really great uh, feature on it that I like a lot, which is I can tell it how long I want to cook for, <coughs> and it'll shut itself off after that amount of time, so I could start to smell those baked potatoes cooking, but they're not done yet, and I thought, okay, what I really want to do is go in there and, and tell it, hey, be done in about 20 more minutes and shut the oven off. It's just, a, it's such a nice little feature. I'm going to start building these administration offices because in anticipation, you can see we're up under 600 there. In anticipation of going after the only people who are left. Construction complete. I mean, in the Senate, this is ridiculous. Moderate administrative sanctions oppose. Um, in the Senate, it's us. It's the Durzak expansionists the Beldross Syndicate, and the Awoken. And we're all signatories under the Valdari, so we want to go after the Valdari, and the, the Valdari peacekeepers are nothing. So we're going to we're gonna break free from them when it's all over, when it's all said and done. But it figures these guys would show up in these dudes' space, and there's no near, nearby gateways to help. So. so for the next few minutes, we're just doing this. I don't really need any more fleet power even to take on the Valdari. So I don't see any sense in building hordes and hordes and hordes more fortresses. We'll start building half administration offices instead. And then we'll keep trying to build ring roads to, to help take control of this situation. Research complete. Give our people something to do, and we'll go down through. Oh, I need to start taking kinetic damage now, probably. The explosive damage has been fun, but this is a uh, this is one of these worlds where the best thing to do is probably just play some with commercial songs. Little habitat here, Hab seven, Hab five. Lots of commercial zones, and get your trade in. Get lots of trade. Yep, I don't need pops. <laughs> I'm not pressed for alloys. I'm not going to fire that thing off. What I am pressed for is I want to get more ring worlds made. We're building one right now. Let's see. This one over here is completely done. Ring 2, B2. You guys, just replace these. Research complete. So ring B2, ring A2, anything that's got growth, we can just get rid of. And we're going to need exotic gas refiners to help pay for additional ring situations. This one's good, he's done, he's fine, he's perfect. This ring... There's no growth on it, so that's perfect. That's ring A2. Cyberx Alpha was the first one we ever got. It was so nice having a Cyberx early. I really liked that. That was a stroke of luck. 
And believe me, I know how lucky I was with some of this stuff, with the start and everything. We we did get lucky, and that's okay because sometimes you gotta be. Sometimes you gotta be lucky instead of good. So. So we got him building a ring world there. There's a ring world over here, the A one. He's got some more stuff to build. Okay. What are we? What are we low on here? Fall to moats and gases. So. So let's start taking some kinetic <coughs> stuff when it starts showing up. You guys are doing good here. You got synthetic crystal plants. Grab some more moats. D. Okay. So then what I should build is let's get so I got one guy building one there, build one right here. Oh, and can we do lacking? Alright then. Um how are we doing? Everybody over here yet? You go there, and then we'll jump you over here. <laughs> and then we can try to bring peace to the galaxy. These, we've got these last little plugs down here. So, What's going on down here? Is there a... Oh, there is. Washed up tub. <laughs> That's what that seemed like in my head when I saw that name. Okay, let's pick one of you. 3K should get it done. Tabash Vug sounds like it should be um, <laughs> sounds like it should be like a palindrome or something for a washed up tub. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Is everybody here? We all ready to go? Uh, I suppose we should just go do this, huh? I'd kind of like to have a few more fleets, though. Let's do this and wait a little bit. I know waiting might be a mistake, but I'd like to have my fleets at full power and a bunch of these guys aren't. And we gotta wait for Ding Dong to get over here anyways. I'd like to have him too. Listen, hurry up. Keep moving, keep moving. Gonna go crazy, crazy on you. Do -do 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 -do. Research complete. Yeah, let's start taking some kinetic because we'll probably have to redesign our our fleets to deal with some of these other people. The the guardians here, they think they're badass at 126k. They got nothing. Although we might not redesign our fleets at all. I mean, I think we may just be able to straight up. Go from what do we have? We got a fleet of how many down here? Contingency, yeah. We're gonna come get you. I could see ya. Research complete. Okay. Uh, four million right there. Guys are chewing in our stuff. All right, let's go. I can't wait anymore. Let's not even screw around with you. Let's just move you over here. Can't move there? Let's see how this all plays out. They don't have millions of fleets here. They got 600k fleets and that's good because we need to... Look at that thing. Let's go put an end to it. Destroy it. You bastards. Yeah. 
Nexus zero zero one. Butcher him. Hurt him. Hurt him bad. Go right there. Construction ship. Come over here. There's an interstellar's assembly here. Ooh. Research complete. Okay. Yeah, there's. I see it. Research complete. I've been letting it slide there. Oh my gosh, can the contingency actually be something that ends up in a rear view mirror here after all that's happened? It just feels a little surreal. A little surreal. Wow. Evading hostile fleet. Where? Construction is lost. Oh, right there. Yeah, I know. You should probably jump over to here, bud. These stragglers are taking me off, but there's not much I can do about it until the contingency is defeated, so. Six percent. Oh. <laughs> Six percent. Colony established. Research complete. Colony established, so that would be nice. Okay, this world. This was this was a world until it got until it got uh, taken by the contingencies. That's sad for them. System survey complete. There are a few things as yummy as the smell Colony of baked potatoes baking. Man, that is... Oh my gosh. game does something really weird here where it, it does this I'm not, not quite sure why it does it if there aren't people anymore to work the buildings it seems like the buildings should just stay up there with no jobs right it's like the building's just derelict but it's not destroyed or anything But that's not the way it works. I can understand destruction from a war, but yeah, he's, this guy's making me nervous. It's like too close to my mega shipyard, but still, I can understand destruction what a war, from a war. What I can't understand is there aren't pops, and so it's just going to become destruction. Colony established. Research complete. It's a little weird. Like this. This is. Okay, pause. It's you get this late in the game with this, and and the, the problem becomes when well, you're trying to do these things. The game is trying to do all kinds of calculations, and you just can't get that that fast UI response that you're used to. And why some of these buildings can't be demolished and other ones can, I don't know. I'll probably never figure that out. I mean, I'd love to know, but. So we'll do the pausing thing. Gosh, I really want to get rid of the last of their ships. But, uh... Patience, Grasshopper. Nexus zero, 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 one. But, you all heard me during the whole... During the whole series. You heard me say that I didn't... I thought the crisis was just going to show up and curb stomp us. And, and it probably could have... If we hadn't have been entirely focused on it I mean I think I did pretty good so who owns this world 
planet is occupied by Dar's contingency. So how come we don't just get this space? We took the planet over. I don't understand. I don't get it. Before I thought it was because of the bell dross, but here it's like we took the planet over. There's no other planets in this system. Is there? It's a it's a binary star system. There's no other worlds here. Why did taking that over not result in a win for us? Why don't we get the system away from them? Land my armies, I guess. Not quite sure what else to do. We just gotta wait for these bozos to be over. Now, I assume when we destroy this that those other fleets are still gonna keep flying around. I don't think there's gonna be anything to stop them. Two million unity. We got one unity planet and it is kicking butt. <laughs> I like that. Eight fleet, where are you? You're right there. Hmm. How close are you guys to any kind of a gateway around here? Right there. Oh, ex excellent. Okay, so there is a gateway there. I've never had this kind of research. We're almost at 70k. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, we're getting up to 35k. So I'm going to start using some of it to reinforce System fleets. Complete. Research complete. Ambition, scientific revolution. I mean, I really went all out on the science thing. And it, uh, the Ven Grill, this is awesome. Yeah, these guys. Natural engineers. It would be better for you to be natural physicists. Situation log updated. The Pentulans, natural engineers as well. Let's change you. It's more important for you guys to be physicists against this particular end game crisis. So the Pentulans, where were they? Kettling stuff, right? Species modified. Species modified. Okay, Pendulans. Yeah, physics. Apply that template. Doink. Situation log updated. Robots. We got tons of robots. Half whatever these guys. Ospranian. Half Ospranian. Uh, well. What do you got? Pop growth from immigration. That's not something we have to worry about. You need need from jobs. Leader level cap. That's nice. Habitability. Take that away. Species, Species modified. modified. Rapid breeders. Okay, leader level cap. Let's go. Erudites. Robust. It's always just it's such a nice pick. Situation log updated. Those guys are going to actually take two months. Wow. Are these guys trying to work their... No, they're not trying to work their way up here, are they? To stop us? I don't think so. Forty <laughs> percent! Oh, Nelly. This has been something else. This has really been something else. I'm... I'm a little surprised. Just a little bit. Because I kept saying the whole time, you know, I was like, man, we're going to need 5,000 naval capacity and a full, full complement of ships. And actually, we've done it with around 2,600 and, and less than 3,000. And I wasn't sitting down and doing the math and actually coming up with the numbers. I had no idea how big the, the 
crisis strength would be. I kind of wanted it to be a surprise, and that's why I didn't sit down and do the math and try to guess, you know, knowing that their fleets usually pop out of the contingency space around, what, 260,000? I didn't sit down there and say, well, what's 25 times that? T 10 million? Um, so... I just knew that it was, I knew that 25 times what I was used to was going to be really hard because it's like getting punched by someone and being like, well, yeah, that kind of hurt. Imagine that 25 times. Well, Mike Tyson just knocked you out, you know? So that's kind of what I was expecting was Tyson to walk up here and just pop me in the face and drop me. And, uh, and fortunately being more or less singularly focused on preparing for the continuity through the, th through the whole game despite having to deal with border wars and the great con and the war in heaven and the war in heaven was very satisfying to destroy all those factions we dealt with all of those things and we're still able the whole time to focus we're entirely on alloys alloys and fleet capacity alloys and naval capacity so that when we got to the point where the contingency showed up we didn't immediately get our butts kicked i thought it might happen i thought they might just show up and and we'd send all of our fleets into one i thought that this is what i honestly thought would just happen i thought i'd send all my fleets into one system to fight them and they'd mow them all down and i'd be like well that's it game over that's what I thought was going to happen. And instead, we rocked. We sent all these fleets in there that were at about 400k strength against fleets of 4 million. And and they won, which was very nice because we had them specialized and we did all the right things. And um, it's kind of awesome. Where did this fleet go? It was red and it was right there. And then it just disappeared while I was rambling. And there's none over here either. What happened? Oh, did we destroy them and it left a thing up here? Oh, that's lame. Okay, hold on. Where is it at? That's lame. Uh, see, you gotta shut. You gotta shut down all this stuff. The end of the contingency. The contingency has failed, and their ships went away. That's awesome. With the destruction of the last machine world, the galaxy no longer faces the threat of systematic mass extinction all surviving contingency war forms have either powered down or self-destructed i did not know they did that i'm sure i've seen that before and i just I, it didn't click with me so that's cool we don't have to go hunt those guys down oh and the ghost signal is no longer being transmitted as with the other machine worlds the main ne nexus detonated itself in a massive antimatter explosion when it became apparent that it could no longer resist its attackers Traveling outwards at light speed, the intense light from the energy discharge will be visible to future generations for millennia to come as a bright, short-lived star. Across the galaxy, sapient beings are united in their celebration of the great victory. For the moment, at least, the future looks bright. Oh. Everybody go home. We did it. We did it, folks. 25 times crisis, and we did it. <laughs> Grand Admiral with scaling 25 times crisis we did it oh my gosh I'm I'm just having a moment here wow research complete wow and this is what the galaxy looks like hmm Wow. I'm just done the Valdari have a lot of planets. I have 79. How many do we do? We have. We have 116. So it would be like fighting ourselves, basically. It's probably more fighting than I want to do. Because I don't know how many more episodes that would, that would happen. I mean, it's 24. If we were playing with... See, I thought this would take longer than the time limit. That's why I pushed the end date out and thought, oh, I'll just conquer the galaxy. If we were playing with the time limit, we would have done it within the time limit. A except for, let's see. Let's see what the victory score says. Oh, and so we're on top. We would even beat these guys. I mean, it's, I'm going to call this a win. Even though we're not going to get the official victory pop-up screen. All that would happen between now and the next 24 years is we'd continue to build more science and all that kind of stuff until we destroyed them. So, I'm... Um, I'm going to throw this up as the victory screen. We defeated the crisis. 25 times strength. 
we made it through the war in heaven there were two parts to the war in heaven and the first one was us against the whole all the independent factions and we destroyed every last one of them and then a 25 times crisis i am thrilled with this outcome i'm thrilled with it what do you all think all of you ladies and gents who watch this what do you think leave a question or a comment in the in the comments down below tell me what you think of this colors fade tries the 25 time crisis for the first time and wins i guess to me this is a little bit of validation i'll tell you something right here let me let me take a little minute to talk about this to me this is a little bit of validation because one of the one of the common complaints from really experienced Dolores players when they look at my tutorials is well yeah but you're just making tutorials for babies you're making for tutorials for newbies you're not using 25 times crisis strength you're not using grand animal difficulty you're nobody I get that I get that and sometimes I actually delete those comments off my YouTube pages because it's just not constructive I do make my videos for newbies that was the whole point I started this channel specifically because I wanted to help newbies with Galactic Civilizations 3. Because I was on the Steam forums a lot, answering the same questions over and over and over. Because I like to be helpful. Because I am the antithesis of read the fucking manual. And I hate that attitude. And I don't want people to struggle when a game can be really fun and really cool. So I was there answering questions a lot. And finally I thought, you know what, the best thing to do would be just play the game show people do a let's play and explain every move that i make and why i'm making it and i did in my galactic civilization series was hugely popular and for me way beyond my expectations i thought if 100 people watched it it'd be great and then years later it was like 30 40 50 100 000 people i'm like what it has that many views unfortunately star doc the developer just butchered that game over time and it's it's not very much. It's not fun for me to play anymore. I think they've sucked all the fun out of it. I don't know how you do that with a 4X that looks that good, but they did. Uh, and so I turned to Stellaris, which had been sitting on my hard drive for a long time unplayed because I'd bought it on a Steam summer sale like everybody else. You know, you get it on a sale, and I just, I just dove in. I thought, this is really intimidating, and I had no idea the aspect existed. I had no idea there were people YouTubing it. I, I learned it all on my own. I just learned the game on my own and I used my brain. It was like, well, I, I, I know how to do math in my head. I know how to, I'm not going to sit down here and do it with a calculator, but I'll, I'll do the rough estimates in my head. And I think this and this and this and this and this would be the right way to do it. I've made some mistakes along the way. I gave too much credence to, to gene clinics. Um, I, I and that's something I've commented on in my videos and said, yeah, don't take my advice on gene clinics. That People are right. You know, Put down an alloys or something instead, and, and over time you're going to get way more return on your investment. But uh, I think I've been right on a lot of other things, especially when it came to planet specialization. Um, I mean, this is, this is a big damn number. And you can see the effects of it when you're looking in the technology screen and you're picking out new tech and and it's nine months away. I mean, look at this guy. He's got 154%. That's just... And look at and look what we have. I mean, look at these numbers. These are really awesome. Scientist skill. I've learned that, yes, leader levels and leader lifespan and getting these guys as high as we can. He's a 7 of 10. He's not even maxed out. And he's got such a long lifespan. He'll max out. Use everything you can to get leader experience gain up. And then look at all the bonuses. His scientist skill is 14%. Spark of genius, 10%. Fanatic materialist, 10%. Administrative AI, 5%. Positronic AI, 5%. Scientific leap, 10%. Curator insight. We had that on the whole game. Once we could afford it, 10%. Singularity processor, 5%. Ambition, scientific revolution, on all the time, 20%. Three science nexuses. We created one, I think, and, and I think we stole the other two. Discovery traditions finished, 10%. Technological ascendancy, 10 I mean, look at that. That's how we got here. That's how we got to the point where we knew the repeatables were the only way to get fleets big enough to take on a crisis that strong. So what did we do? We focused on research. People call, it's annoying to me that people still 
say that they're playing tall versus wide, even though we have admin buildings now. It's like, no, this is tall. It's also wide. <laughs> it's really wide. And do you know why that is? There's no such thing as tall. It's just you're either have more research than everybody else or you don't. It's not tall. It's mountain versus a molehill really is what it is. Because if you're going to go tall, you're also going you're also going to have all of this other stuff. It's like, stop saying tall versus wide. We have admin buildings. You don't have to make that choice anymore. Unless you're on a console playing 2.2, that's not a thing anymore. Stop using the wrong terminology for stuff. But to go back to my point, way back, yes, I started this channel to help people with galactic civilizations, and then I moved on to Stellaris because it was a really fun game for me. I found a lot of fun as I discovered how to play it and how to figure things out. And yeah, I'm not, I'm, it's such a big game. I'm sure there's some people out there who are more expert than I am and that's awesome for them, but I feel like I'm good enough to help people. So it's been kind of annoying during the whole two years I've been doing this or whatever to be putting out these tutorials and these videos and these let's plays and trying to describe everything and my reasoning for doing it, especially and then to have these snarky, smarmy folks coming along and be like, well, you're just making videos for babies. Where's your 25 times crisis strength? Where's your grand admiral difficulty? So to do this feels like a little bit of validation. It's like, yeah, dude, I know how to play the game. You don't have to be a snarky jerk about it. You know, I'm trying to help people. What are you doing? Trying to cut people down? Wow. Good for you. That's something to be proud of. Meanwhile, I'm trying to help people. And there's <laughs> collectively among all these videos, there's hundreds of thousands of views and millions of minutes watched and loads of comments from people saying thank you because now I can play this game that looked really cool but seemed really intimidating. So for every single one of you people who have come to the channel and been like, you helped. Yes, thank you. You have my thanks because this is why I did this so that you guys can have fun playing this game. That's the whole reason for doing it. And I don't I don't appreciate the snark and I don't appreciate the put downs from the people who think that they know everything and they're experts. Okay, great. Good for you. Why don't you do something with that then? Why don't you take your considerable brain power and like go help NASA put men on Mars and women on Mars. Go help go help colonize new planets. Do something. I mean, besides sit here and put people down. That 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 shit just gets annoying. So, so this, this feels like a little bit of validation. The contingency went bye bye. <laughs> I mean, I really like that. I want to find out where that is again. Oh, I think it already rolled off. Yeah, already rolled off. But that was awesome. Gosh. That's just awesome. I mean, this is just... I'm excited. That was really cool. That is the most research I've ever come up with. 69. You know what? I could sit here and play for a little bit and try to get that to 70, but we all know what a magic number that is, so I think it's appropriate we end the video right there. 69,000 research. What do you think of that? Oh, folks. Thanks for being a part of this channel. Thanks for... It watching and your patreon support and you're clicking on video ads and all that kind of stuff that you do to help especially the comments and all the algorithmic stuff this is this is the culmination of a long time playing this game getting to this point now i feel confident that i can play this jacked up and it's like okay we got it there's going to be more tutorial videos coming because there's little things people keep asking for that they want me to explain so we'll be doing that even if we're making videos for babies I want you all to have as much fun playing this as I do. And I thank you for sticking here and subscribing to my channel and hanging out. So everyone, as always, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a question or comment down below. My Patreon is in the description below and you can offer whatever you want, however small of a donation you want. It all helps. It all helps make the channel better. Thanks so much. This has been a wild ride. I'm Carlos Fade signing off. See you all next time.